even though the reader was told that they had been assigned this essay, this attempt, they're like, the, the reader sits down, they say, we had this individual write a pro uh, catcher essay, uh, we'd like to, you know, tell us how you feel about how he thinks about Castro. And they say, well, um, he must be pro Castro because he wrote it. Now, another, f another funny thing that was done by, I think would believe it was in this article, it was really, really long, no, it's egocentrism, um, it was a book chapter, I do have the reference, I'll try to pull it up as I'm talking, um, where people were told, would you write a pro Castro essay? And they're like, no, of course I wouldn't, you know? And then they're asked to write that essay. And it, as it turned out, like, 40% of people mispredicted their own behavior. They're like, no, I wouldn't write it. And then they're given the assignment, and then they ended up writing it anyway. So, it's pretty funny uh, what people actually uh, end up doing after they say what they're not going to do. Um, really stopped anger. Uh, the toy focus. No, this isn't it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not finding it right now. Oh, here it is. It's the, um, Chapter 4, Attribution and Interpersonal Perception by Gilbert. Uh, I'm not sure of the year. It's not here. Uh, yeah, no, that's not it. Anyways, so, what's the next thing? Um, there's another paradigm out there by Ross Amble and Steinmetz, 1990, wait, 1977, in which the famous study, the quiz game study. What the quiz game study was, was that they had a participant come in and they said, I want you to design ten questions, some hard, some medium, some normally easy, so that there was a good range of questions. Now, these questions were then supposed to be answered by a random participant, which it was. So picture yourself coming up with ten questions and then some random person trying to answer them. And, of course, you know the answers, because you came up with them, and so you should. But the other person, why should they know them? You came up with them. Anyway, they had these people sit in front of an audience, observers, and observe them as the participant tried to answer questions of the other person. But what ended up happening was, well, people rated the quiz master, the person who came up with the questions, as more intelligent than the participant, which doesn't make any sense once you think about it, because one